Although my channel mainly targets local business owners, I'm aware that many of you who watch my videos aspire to start your own local SEO business. If you want to escape the daily grind, enjoy the flexibility of working from home and generate enough revenue to make a decent living, this video is for you. After more than two decades of working in the corporate world, I set up my own local SEO business a few years ago. And guess what? It changed my life. I earn more money today than I ever did when I was employed. I don't have a boss breathing down my neck and I can wear shorts all day long, even when I'm shooting videos. Using my experience, I'm going to show you how you can become your own boss by building a profitable local SEO business while working from home. Let's jump right in by looking at the five reasons why local SEO is a good niche to start a home business. Number one, the target market is huge. According to an article on Forbes.com, 99.9% .9 of businesses across the US are small businesses, which is your primary target. Although this figure should be taken with a pinch of salt because of what is considered a small business, it still goes to show that there isn't a shortage of potential clients. And this trend is not exclusive to the US, so it doesn't matter where you are in the world. Number two, almost 50% of Google searches are for local businesses. Therefore, it's very important for business owners to rank as high as possible on Google Search and Google Maps so they can attract customers for the services or products they sell. Number three, the vast majority of business owners' websites and Google business profiles are poorly optimized for local search. Anyone with basic local SEO knowledge can easily improve their visibility. Number four, business owners are too busy running their businesses and just can't spare the time to do their own local SEO. It's way better for them to outsource the task to a pro who knows their stuff. Number five, Finding trustworthy local SEO experts is a tough nut to crack. I've turned down so many potential clients because I couldn't take on any more and they all said, do you know anyone else who can help? Because I sure can't find someone I can rely on. If you were sitting on the fence about starting a local SEO business, you should now be convinced to take the leap. But now that you're in, you might be wondering what to do next. I'm not going to go into the boring legal stuff about starting a business or freelancing because it's different from country to country. So I'll leave that to you to look up. Instead, let's get into the fun part, my strategy for kickstarting your business and landing your first clients. This strategy is based on this thing Google uses called EAT, which stands for experience, expertise, authoritativeness, and trustworthiness. I assume that if you're watching this video, you're probably familiar with this concept already. Although Google uses EAT to rate content quality, I think these principles are the perfect fit to build a killer business too. Let's kick things off by talking about the expertise side of things. If you Google expertise, the definition that pops up is expert skill or knowledge in a particular field. And in my opinion, that's the foundation of any good business. You gotta know your stuff, plain and simple. Starting a business without any prior knowledge or skills is generally a recipe for disaster. So before you start dreaming about making millions, sitting behind your computer screen, wearing nothing but your pajamas, make sure you've got enough know-how under your belt. The good news is that becoming a local SEO expert is a lot easier than say, becoming an electrician or a mechanic. All you need is an internet connection and a willingness to read up on the subject or watch my videos. Unfortunately, when it comes to local SEO, the web is filled with bad information. Lucky for you though, I've done the hard work of sorting through it all. In the video description, I've included some top-notch resources that will save you loads of time and hassle. Just bookmark them and check back often if you want to beef up your local SEO skills. Trust me, it will be worth your while. All right, so once you've got a good handle on local SEO, it's time to put that knowledge into practice and move on to the second EAT principle, experience. As a great Albert Einstein once said, the only source of knowledge is experience. And that's where a lot of local SEO professional wannabes stumble. The best way to get experience is to work with real clients. But getting your first one can be a challenge because there are a lot of snake oil salesmen out there in the local SEO world. Business owners have been burned by these so-called experts before, which makes them wary of trusting anyone. Plus, some businesses don't see the point of local SEO because they think that just having a Facebook business page or posting on Instagram will do the trick and bring in customers. And since those are free, why pay somebody else? I went through all of that when I started out too, but I figured out how to get past those obstacles, so let me share it with you. Believe it or not, landing your first client is easier than you think, as long as you're willing to do some initial work for free. Yes, you heard me right, for free. Just like how 
lawyers sometimes do pro bono work. Here is why. Unless you're a super smooth talker, it's going to be tough to find someone who's willing to pay you for your services when you've got zero experience to show up and no track record to prove how great you are. But when you offer to help a business get more clients for free, who can say no to that? Just make sure you get something in return, like permission to use their business as a case study and a written testimonial from the owner, ideally with their picture. To get started, just pull out Google Maps and look for local businesses in your area. It's best to choose a business near your home so you can meet the owner in person and build a relationship with them if needs be. Plus, it's just more practical for you. When I first started, I used to meet prospective clients at my local coffee shop, which was just a short walk away from where I live. Avoid going after businesses in highly competitive industries like lawyers or dentists, as well as those with a reputation for spamming Google local results like garage door repair and locksmith. Target businesses that are low down in the search results. A good indicator of an under-optimized business is a low number of Google reviews. Then pick up the phone and start calling them. It shouldn't take long before someone takes you up on your offer. Once you've landed your first non-paying client, get to work. You'll be surprised how quickly you can start seeing positive results. Do this two or three times until you feel comfortable enough to move to the next EAT principle, trust. To start charging for your SEO services, you need to show potential clients they can trust you to deliver the goods and get their money's worth. The most effective way of doing this is to use social proof. The good news is you've already done all the heavy lifting. Use the testimonials and case studies you've obtained from your free clients and turn them into some cool digital content you can publish on your website and social media to show off your skills and build trust with new clients. To get your name out there and attract small business owners looking for SEO help, consider investing a little money in a Google or Facebook paid campaign. By driving targeted traffic to your website, you can show potential clients what you're all about. To get the most bang for your buck, make sure you get your campaign to display in your local area. Not only will this cost you less, but it will also help you build credibility with potential clients. When they see that you've worked with local businesses they recognize, they'll be more likely to trust you and think, hey, if it worked for them, it can work for me too, right? When you're starting to charge clients for your SEO services, it's important not to get greedy and overcharge them. When I first started charging clients, I didn't make a ton of money, but I was transparent with them about my situation from the start. I let them know that I was just starting out and that my prices might go up over time, which they did once I started working on the fourth EAT principle, authority. Let's say you're a young and talented golfer who wants to go pro. If you had the choice between hiring a local golf coach or Tiger Woods as your coach, you'd obviously pay a lot more for Tiger's services. That's because he's an authority in his field and can charge a premium for his expertise. The key to getting there in local SEO is to consistently deliver amazing results for your clients and stay on top of your game in an industry that's always changing. Once you've built authority as a local SEO pro, you'll be able to charge a lot more for your services and attract higher paying clients. As you continue to hone your skills and become a true master of local SEO, you'll reach a point where you don't even need to actively seek out clients. Instead, they'll come to you. So keep striving for greatness. And before you know it, you'll be the one setting the standard for others to follow. That's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Go get them. And until next time, happy marketing.